What's up guys? I am so excited for today's video. We have a huge announcement for you. Welcome to our next adventure. Hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. Three years ago, we sold our house and we've been traveling across the country ever since. Hi, I'm Goose. I'm Ashley. Join, Join us! us! Alright, are you ready for the next adventure? What? We're finally leaving. We're no longer mooching off your parents. On to the next adventure. It's crazy. And the kids are seriously struggling a little bit here. Uh, I mean, any change is a little hard, but that one is struggling having to leave Grammy and Pops. But I think it's also the fact that we are going somewhere and she's always excited for a new adventure. Like, when's the next adventure? But this adventure doesn't go anywhere except for just the same place every day. So I think she's, I think she's a little nervous about it. This is so crazy. It is night one at the new property. We got everything all set up, the fifth wheels all leveled out and whatnot. We just got the kids tucked into bed. Let's go check in on Ashley. Ashley's already hard at work in here. Oh guys, this is so crazy. I can't believe this is actually happening. Were you able to find some? <laughs> How's it going, Mom? Oh, it's going. Mommy has been hard at work cleaning out our brand new to purchase. Us. This is the best thing I could find for reaching the small cracks. Either of those work? So since we knew that this was going to be happening uh, for about a week or so, we've been scouring Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace for all sorts of finds. So let me show you a couple of the cool items that we found and for how good of a deal we found them. Actually, this lady has found quite a few good deals. Sorry. Deal number one, stainless steel undermount sink, never been installed, $25? $35? I think it was $20. $20? It was $25. Even better. Ding, ding, ding. I'll put the price right here because we have it all written down. Washer and dryer set, $120 for the pair. From a distance, it looks pretty good, but up close, it is definitely used and worn. But for $120, that's hard to pass up. A giant concrete mixer for $0. Don't get too excited, it doesn't work, we have to fix it. But the hardware itself is sound, and I was really excited about that purchase. Lawnmower, only a couple months old, $50. 80 gallon hot water heater, yes used, but only $80. Chandelier that looks kind of like a spaceship, it will have Edison bulbs in it. Super cool, I think that was $25. Again, prices down here that are actually correct. Table saw, free. Air compressor, free. Giant pile of plywood and two by fours that I can totally use for products that are coming up free Very excited about all those things and we've gotten tons more, but we'll talk about those later as things become relevant One of the things I'm really excited about is we are going to be documenting Everything that we spend so whether it be permits or things we buy on Craigslist or tools and equipment that we buy right. Ashley is really excited because She's like, I need something small to get into this crack to clean it here. Or big items like this, such as appliances, which has, Ashley is very excited about, an ice maker. How, how happy are you when after, it's actually after three years to have yeah. an ice maker? When it's actually hooked up, I'll be very happy. But right now it's just like taunting me, so. So I wasn't really, I wasn't even gonna vlog tonight, but it's like, I feel like we had to document our first night in the house because we've been up here well it's our first night on the property it's the first night staying up here we've been up here a couple times since we've had the keys to drop things off like the fridge and whatnot and I can show you some more of the other stuff that we got but um, this will be our first night actually sleeping here first night the girls are up here first night the fifth wheel is up here it's just it's all become real so quick oh. Anyways, so we're gonna keep cleaning until the wee hours of the night, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Cause I feel a change coming like a clean rain pouring down on me. All these phases, bad in races, I. Cut and call me.
So now we're at the far edge of the property and this is where we would like to put an RV pad so that we kind of have that RV parking spot. So once the house is done, we'll be able to bring the RV, park it up here, hopefully have enough space for two, in case we have friends or family that want to bring their stuff over with them. So that's the idea, be able to have power, some sewer, water, who knows, just kind of try and have the hookup up here on this part of the property. No pun intended. So one of the first things we have to do on the property is get water figured out because when we moved in, there is no well rights of any sort. We have sewer and power, thankfully, but water is something we have to take care of. So let me show you what our plans are for that. So this is where we're gonna put our pump house for our rainwater collection and filtration system. We're gonna have probably a four by four little building right here and then two 2,500 gallon storage tanks right next to each other kind of in a row right here in the back. So our goal is to not have to drill a well, but to capture the rain from the sky, filter it and harness it and get free, super clean water. That's the goal at least, we'll see how it goes. So the shop was already here and someone was already living in it and that gave us the idea of why can't we turn it into a one bedroom with an office type of thing for us to just come back to when we need to and then we can leave when we want and maybe use it as an Airbnb, who knows. Anyway, this will be the bedroom and the office area. This will be a closet and a mudroom. You can see we kind of have a lot of stuff in here already. We have a bathroom, yay! And then our living room area, dining room area, we'll have our kitchen area and then the best part of any house will have a nice little coffee bar over here so yeah this is our house and there's a lot to do so not only do we plan on remodeling the shop and adding the rainwater catch system and putting in the rv pad and all that but we have future plans as well down the road when time and finances allow. We do have the plans of adding a container house. That's been like a dream of ours for years. Even before we started traveling, I've always thought it would be so cool to build a house out of shipping containers. So I've already got like a preliminary sketch up drawn and whatnot. It's not gonna be a big house. I think it'll be about 1500 square feet. Uh, so it will be like twice the size of the shop. And between the shop conversion and the house, we'll have probably about 2300 square feet total. So it'll be a good size little three bedroom office uh, setup once it's all done. But this is the location of that. And another thing container wise that we are gonna do soon is over here. Mm -hmm. So this is the location of what I'm calling the uh, shop, the storage shop. I've already ordered a 40 foot high cube shipping container that's gonna be right here, and that's gonna kind of be my workshop for rainy days. The back part's gonna be storage for all those things that you saw are in the house already, uh, but that, that will give us the space to move everything from in the shop out here to in the container shop. I realize that's gonna be really confusing. We should start referring to this as this is the house. So we're gonna move everything from the house into the container shop uh, and that will just give us more workspace because if you didn't know in the Pacific Northwest it kind of rains a lot so we needed a cover watertight area that we can do it. Plus I'm just really excited about getting my hands on a shipping container. <laughs> do you guys hear that? I love that. As I've said many a times before I am a sucker for beautiful mountains and a creek. Not a creek, a creek. <laughs> Can you hear it? We have a year round creek running down below and I am so excited to be able to clear cut some of this and get rid of some of this so that we can see from our back porch, look all the way down to the creek. It's gonna be crazy and there's a lot to do. So we should probably get started. Some people might even be a little overwhelmed at this point with their decisions that they've made in life, but Trust me, we're not one of those people. <laughs> no, I am so excited. I mean, obviously this whole new adventure comes with its own stressors and its own issues and problems, but just like we've done with RV life, we learn as we go and we show you guys our mistakes, our triumphs, our happy times and our sad times. And we are so excited to have you guys along for this new adventure. And some of you might be worried, well, are you done traveling? No, we are not done traveling. We're not selling the fifth wheel. Even when the house is completed, we're not like moving into it or anything. It'll be our home base that we can come back to. Our ultimate long-term goal for this is to be able to build this 
Airbnb it out when we're gone, when we're traveling half the time, and then come back here but have a home base next to family that we can come back and visit. So we're not just mooching off Ashley's parents or my parents and we've just, we felt like, almost like leeches at times. <laughs> Even though they say we're happy to have us there, it'll be so nice to have our own place to come back to. Yes. Let's go right. to work. You ready? No. Let's, <laughs> let's go get the chainsaw. Of course he forgot to say, cause you know, it's James, ADD. So let's end it with, stay positive, life is an adventure. So get out there and make some memories. I am so excited right now. I'm about to start project number one for the house. Whew, deep breath guys, it's about to begin.